I know what you're thinking. Why is Dr. HMS showing you this lovely bowl of noodles, but alas, showing you this terrible title? It's Noodle Dangers, part two. However, you must have realized after listening to Instant Noodle Dangers Part 1 that eating too much of instant noodles can be detrimental to your health. Thus, I felt it was necessary for me to do a Part 2 to appreciate on these dangers. You are welcome to the Medical Information Channel. So if you think that this channel has been giving you a lot of helpful information, do subscribe and let's go. If you're on a budget, too lazy to cook proper food, and instant noodles are your favorite treat to consume more than just a few times a week, then you may want to pay attention to these facts that I'm about to bring to you. Do you know instant noodles are very low on essential nutrients? Thus, regular intake of instant noodles may affect your children because they may end up being victims of nutritional deficits. UNICEF reported that a high intake of instant noodles among children reduces the intake of vitamins and minerals that are essential for children's growth. Do instant noodles contain harmful toxins? Well, most instant noodles are fried during the production process. So when the oil used for frying these noodles isn't constantly changed or properly maintained, there are some oxidizing agents that accumulate within this oil. Gradually, these oxidizing agents attract some poisonous substances, which are called toxins, and they are transferred to the packaging of these instant noodles, along with this oil, oil and fats. So yes, it may contain some harmful toxins. Has instant noodles been shown to cause some form of food poisoning? The safe production methods of instant noodles are still a valid concern because you may have heard that the World Instant Noodles Association, which is very much active, have since defined and promoted strict production standards of instant noodles to reduce the risk of contamination and food poisoning by these instant noodles. Have you heard that instant noodles can increase the risk of developing tumors and cancers? An experiment conducted by Dr. Braden Cool identify that processed instant noodles may take more than four hours for digestion, whereas fresh noodles that have been prepared take one to two hours for digestion. So what does this mean? This means that our gut is exposed for longer periods to some of the chemical agents that are contained in these instant noodles. And yes, this may increase our risk of developing tumors and cancers. Have you heard of propylene glycol? This is just one of the many chemical substances I'm going to talk to you about during this instant noodle presentation. Now, propylene glycol is used in some instant noodles to maintain the texture of the noodles. It helps to prevent these instant noodles to, from sticking from one another and from drying while cooking them. And it may interest you to know that tobacco products are known to, to, to contain propylene glycol. Some health experts have said that because of this increase in the digestion time of instant noodles and thus an increased exposure to this chemical agent, 
it may predispose one to having cancers and tumors, especially people that expose themselves to eating a lot of instant noodles. Propylene glycol has also been known, has also been reported to be readily absorbed and has been known to accumulate in the heart, the liver, and the kidneys, causing some abnormalities in these organs. It has also been known to weaken the immune system. So we need to take note of these facts because frequent eating of instant noodles have been found to cause this. Now, a study by researchers at Harvard University of 10,711 adults, which were 54.5% women between the ages of 19 to 64 years of age, reported a 68% higher risk of metabolic syndrome among these women who consumed instant noodles more often than just twice a week but this was not reported in men. This study was quite significant and it was reported in the Journal of Nutrition that women who consumed these instant noodles had this increased risk of developing the clinical condition known as metabolic syndrome, regardless of whether they carried out um, exercise or regardless of their overall diets. Now, for some of you who don't know what metabolic syndrome is, metabolic syndrome is a group of symptoms such as central obesity. Now, central obesity is, you know, um, a full, uh, an increased expansion of the midriff, the abdomen, elevated blood pressure in these people, and also low levels of high-density lipoprotein, HDL cholesterol. Now, this can increase a person's chance of chances of getting heart disease, diabetes, or having a stroke. And so you have realized by now that metabolic syndrome is not a pleasant condition. Now, what is TBHQ? TBHQ is a chemical agent called tertiary butyl hydroquinone. And instant noodles have been found to contain this preservative. And because of the, the reasons I mentioned before, that our bodies are exposed to more of these chemical agents because of the digestion of these instant noodles. We are exposed and overexposed to not just this TBHQ, but also other chemical agents such as BHA, which I'll come to in a few minutes, as well as TBHQ. So the Food and Drug Administration have reported that TBHQ, in fact, is a chemical preservative that has been touted to be carcinogenic and has even been touted to cause asthma, anxiety, and diarrhea if consumed in large quantities or when we're exposed to this TBHQ. Now, the Food and Drug Administration still has allowed this TBHQ to be up to 0.02% of the total oils in the food. Now, this may not sound like a lot, 
But why does the FDA require that there be a limit on this TVHQ amount if it is really a harmless preservative? You may want to ask that question. And beware, TVHQ comes from butane. And everything which originates from butane, no matter how small the dose, could hardly be classified as safe. High doses of TBHQ have been known to cause ringing in the ears, retching, and in some reports, it has been said that it can promote hyperactivity in younger individuals. In addition, asthma, rhinitis, that's inflammation of the nose, and also skin conditions can occur if one is exposed to high amounts of TBHQ. The American Cancer Society has also said several times that BHA is reasonably anticipated as being a human carcinogen. That is, BHA, which is butylated hydroxy anisole, another chemical agent that we'll come to in a few seconds, is reasonably anticipated as being a human carcinogen, meaning that it may cause cancers in humans. Do this. In fact, the European mission has included this BHA in a list of chemicals which have possible endocrine disrupting effects. The endocrine system is the system that is responsible for the production and regulation of hormones, which may, if they're disrupted, affect this reproductive system. That is, this BHA can affect the reproductive system in the production and the regulation of these important hormones, leading to negative side effects. Now, this same review also said that a compound called bisphenol A, BPA, which is contained in styrofoam compartments are used in holding these instant noodles. It's a form of a packaging. Can meddle the body's hormones, especially the female sex hormone called estrogen. Another health concern is the leaching of dioxin. Dioxin and other hormone-like substances are contained in the plastic containers of cup noodles. And as hot water is added to these cup noodles, harmful substances like this dioxin and the hormone-like substances can dissolve in the instant noodles and we consume them. They're also known to be toxic. So the rest of the agents I'm going to mention are not directly contained in the instant noodles themselves, just like uh, what I mentioned just now. Uh, the phthalates in plastic materials still are contained in packaging and have been known to cause asthma-like symptoms in some people. Also, the polystyrene packaging still used in the packaging of instant noodles has been found to be carcinogenic and has harmful effects. And as well, polyethylene, which has been found to cause toxic effects as well. And polypropylene, another agent found in the plastic containers, which has also been found to be toxic. There are many other compounds, but these are the main ones. And this phenol too 
needs to be mentioned. In fact, sometimes when you see uh, containers that have been washed and, and are in frequent use, you may actually find some fatty droplets floating in the food in these containers. These may just be these chemical agents, especially the polystyrene, which occur as fat droplets in this food. And so just remember, I mean, we use plastic containers to store not only instant noodles, but many other foods, um, both bought and in our homes. So please be careful whenever you're eating food that is in plastic containers. And I, I hope that you found this presentation useful. Please share to others and do subscribe. And I'll see you again next time.